William Whalen here for GetMoreSports.com, and we are looking at the Big East. Uh, obviously, as storied of a conference as there is, uh, last year was an interesting year because you had Villanova so dominant and, and at least on paper, so good, uh, earning one of the top seeds in the NCAA tournament. Uh, but then they flame out in March, and it kind of jaded the way we looked at this entire conference, quite honestly. Uh, I do think that this conference is bound for kind of a rebound year, uh, but the opinions on that are torn all across the country. Uh, to me, the Big East starts and ends with Villanova once again. I mean, this is a program that uh, obviously Jay Wright has built over time. Uh, great tradition as well. But they're filling a lot of different shoes, uh, kind of losing guys, Tyler Ennis transferring. Uh, but to me, they're still the most efficient offense and defense in this conference. And you have one of the elite coaches in the country in Jay Wright. Adding a guy like five-star Jalen Brunson uh, to the lineup, and he might be the fourth option. I think that speaks to the depth that Nova has. Uh, to me, the runner-up, in my opinion, looks like Butler. Uh, to me, they've got one of the most dynamic one-two duos in college basketball, uh, bringing in a transfer from North Carolina State as well to add depth on the perimeter on the wing. Uh, but really, Kellen Dunham is a preseason player of the year a contender, surely. Uh, Roosevelt Jones is one of the most versatile, bruising forces in college basketball. So I like what I see uh, out of Butler, and I've got uh, the, their coach taking home coach of the year honors. Uh, third place, and a lot of people's second place pick are the Georgetown Hoyas. Uh, led by Coach John Thompson III. Uh, they've got my preseason Big East Player of the Year uh, in Devontae Smith-Rivera, uh, led by a host, a host of freshmen and sophomores. This is a really young team. Uh, the beginning of the season, the first half, is going to be extremely interesting to watch because, in my opinion, if they show constant progress, then they're ready to kind of maybe leap over Butler, uh, maybe even challenge Villanova for that top spot in the conference. Uh, if we see growing pains and maybe a lack of maturity creep up with the youth on that roster, they have a chance to kind of spiral down. Uh, they're a big boom or bust team in my mind. Uh, that's why I have them kind of settled into that dark horse role uh, at third place right now.